Buying a home is arguably the biggest investment of your entire life. But when it comes with problems, Coloradans have the right to sue whoever built it. And lawmakers now are drafting a bill to give homeowners options other than lawsuits. That includes allowing the developer to fix the problems or for the builder to bring in someone else to fix it. But those who have fought to defend the right to sue as a homeowner are now worried. Here's Denver 7's Colette Bordelon. This is from water damage that came in from the outside up above. Jonathan Harris hates to see that in his home, a condo in Five Points. Bought it when it was new. That was in 2004. Harris says he's learned a lot since then. Builders are taking shortcuts. He says others in his building experienced several of the same problems, like water seeping into their homes because of improper drainage. As a result of all this water going to units, there was a lot of mold inside walls. An expensive job, Harris says, was paid for by the developer after homeowners sued. You build low quality housing, and you have more problems. Harris says the ability to sue a developer over construction defects is a homeowner's right. So he's skeptical about new legislation expected next year. Developers are trying to take away more homeowners' rights. Any bill we pass cannot diminish the rights of a homeowner, and it won't. State Representative Shannon Bird plans to sponsor a bill she says would give homeowners other options that don't end in litigation. If there's a problem with your house, you need to be able to get it fixed. Bird says the issue isn't that homeowners are suing builders. She says what's being built in Colorado is part of the problem. We do have a robust litigation environment. Um, most developers know that if they build a condominium, a lawsuit is certain to follow. The construction defect lawsuits local builders say have made it too expensive to insure condos. Insurance costs to build are extremely high, and we know that any time the cost of a product is high, that gets passed on to the consumer. Bird says her bill would not limit a builder's liability, but Harris believes it goes back to developers blaming homeowners. That we've raised the price of condominiums and real estate because we've filed these defect claims while they have built these shoddy homes. A debate that's decades old, coming back to Colorado's capital next year. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. And going in depth here, Colorado has a long history of addressing construction liability. Here's a timeline of legislation leading up to today. In 2001, the Colorado Construction Defect Action Reform Act passed. It requires homeowners to disclose problems to builders. Developers could fix it or pay the owner. The goal was to try and lower the number of cases taken to court over construction defects. Then in 2007 came the Homeowner Protection Act. It prevents developers from including certain stipulations protecting them from lawsuits. Ten years later, then Governor John Hickenlooper signed House Bill 171279. That law requires homeowners association boards, HOAs, to get approval before filing a construction defect action. The majority of the owners must sign off first.